Yes, that is right, guys. I am in Greece, Athens. This was the shortest planned trip ever. Uh, I've, I'm come here only for 24 hours. It was a last minute plan. My brother was going to Athens. It's a Monday, August 20, August 28th. I had to take a day off. Both the flight uh, on Sunday evening and I'm here in four hours. So the plan is simple. I will be staying at a hotel in Vravrona. Uh, I'm not even paying for this hotel actually. I will be uh, traveling by Uber because that's the best app that you can use for taxi. It's gonna cost me 20 euros. It's expensive because there was another app called as a free now app uh, that I couldn't register because my phone number would not let me uh, get the OTP so Uber is the best option 20 euros is expensive for a 20 minute ride but that's fine uh, because anyways I'm here for a 24 hour trip the, the plan is very basic I won't be going around too much just visiting historic places and uh, looking at the various locations within Vravrona where I'm staying and explore a little bit of food and that's it tomorrow night uh, tomorrow early morning is my flight back home so as you can see i'm staying at the dolce by windham Athens attica rivera it is right by the sea and it's going to cost me around 20 euros yeah 20 euros is a lot actually but these are the uh, ubers that you see they're yellow in color not like our typical various colors of Uber. Um, also, if you take a private taxi, I have seen online it take cost 75 euros for this trip of 20 minutes. It's ridiculous. So I think Uber is your best bet. Uh, exchanging US dollars also is a not great idea. You better carry euros with you because you lose a little bit of money on exchange and on the ATM it rolls as well. So let's see how I can manage these 24 hours. It's going to be my cheapest trip. Cheapest and the shortest trip. As you have seen my caption. I'm going to try to make it as cheap as possible. That's my Uber. Hello. Hi. Hi. Huh. Yeah, no problem. Thank okay. you. Thank you. So that was my uh, room, very small, tiny room, but it has the view outside uh, in the sea. Uh, this is not actually the sea, it's like the, the edge of the sea. The, it's like a creek, I would say. So I'm getting into the elevator now. This hotel is very tiny. This is how tiny, this is how tiny the elevator is. And look how it opens. Okay, so I'm trying to find a pool. It's uh, the pool is in minus three. Uh, it's like a lower section of this. So the hotel is on a mountain, and uh, 
it is at the corner of the south ubion gulf that's the the water area it's called the south ubion gulf and right now i got to figure out which side is the swimming pool that's the name of the hotel dolce athens attica rivera I'm guessing the pool is this side. So I decided not to swim, nor I want to go in the sea or the in the in the water area because I don't want to ruin my hair. And I just have one day. I didn't carry my hair dryer, etc. Oh, beach pool is this side. That is the pool now. It's a nice pool actually. I'm just tempted to swim, but I should not because I don't have any of my hair products. I actually came with only one backpack. I did not bring a luggage, so I brought very limited clothes, like one T-shirt, one shorts, one pair of shoes, just a backpack. Okay, so finally I'm at the the beach area. It's not really a beach. It's just a like I said, it's a creek. and there's access to the water okay so i'm here by the water and this is very interesting the water is extremely clear over here uh i might think of swimming i'm still making up my mind but this is a nice place there's nobody here at the moment that's clearly because uh, it's early morning we arrived early morning we arrived at around 6:30 and by the time we came to the hotel it was already 7 uh, half an hour drive so yes so this is the place the hotel the beach side um and also you can see that there's some people fishing over there I'm a little scared to get inside this water and think about it because it looks like there can be some snakes or weird fish which I'm not aware of. And if there's no people in the water, I ain't going in the water. Or oh, there is somebody there actually. This is cool. I'm back in the lobby of the hotel and it is I didn't show the hotel lobby earlier. It's very hot actually. I am sweating right now. I'm thinking whether I should now consider going in the afternoon to the main city. Here is the main lobby. Let me check in. I'll show the view from outside. That is the view. So I was right there at the pool, and then I walked a little bit over there earlier. but the view is very nice so this is literally an outskirts of uh, athens i mean whenever even when i was driving you saw the road it was very uh, village like and underdeveloped still the roads are like uh, in process of getting completed the houses are not really like the european style that you see in other cities i'm sure athens the main city is uh, beautiful and architecturally has a heritage in it but right now this area is completely a rural area of athens i would say and i think that's the charm about this hotel it's it's built around some little mountains um i think it's like a getaway for the people who live in the main city and if they want to come out 
get away from the busy life, uh, they would come here. I won't have a breakfast, but I'll have a cup of coffee. This is the breakfast area. It's pretty nice, actually. It's overlooking the, the sea. Okay, so I got myself a cup of cappuccino, just looking at all the people enjoying their breakfast over here with the view. I'm gonna have breakfast, I'm gonna try their local cuisine. Local cuisine in Athens. It's more like a resort property than a city hotel. I think the whole scenario will change when I go to Athens and I see the completely the opposite of what I'm seeing over here. restaurant for coral <laughs> it's filling but I'm full with eating one Okay, that was a good meal and uh, had a huge one actually, a wholesome meal. We ordered the octopus that you saw. Uh, it was grilled octopus and for two seafood platter. Now that was a mistake because the seafood platter that we took was humongous. We could not finish even half of it. The remaining was a waste and uh, uh, I, I don't like wasting food. I don't encourage it. I don't like it. Clearly the restaurant didn't... I mean they didn't have any pictures of the size of the plate. The octopus itself was tasty. The fish was good. So yes, uh, my brother went back to the hotel and then I booked an Uber to the Athens city, the capital. Right now I am here at the Acropolis area where I will I am walking actually upwards towards the Acropolis uh, ancient remains I cannot show anything from here because I still am walking this path okay so there was a ticket to enter this place it was 20 euros I mean it's fine when you get to see something so spectacular
Okay, I finally made it to the top. You can see behind me is a smaller entrance to this the gigantic Acropolis built in the 5th century BC and I believe it was by the Greek gods the ancient well-known Greek gods this is like a meeting place I guess look at this view now I have to figure out how to get a, a spectacular picture of this thing there's a small chapel up there. There's a lot of Christianity here. Not sure of which other religion, but I could definitely see Christianity. And also, I don't know exactly which one. It's the Roman Catholics or other. I think this is the front side of the Acropolis. <laughs> Okay. All right, so I've done with my pictures uh, walking around in this location. The thing is that it's very, very hot right now. It's uh, almost, it feels like 40 degrees Celsius. It's not burning heat, but it's humid. I think the humidity level is maybe 70%. But yeah, you can get a tan here. I think it's advisable to come in the evening. Probably they have some lights. But this place looks amazing. It's well preserved, uh, all the rocks. And there's no like construction made, anything like that over here. There's a massive Greek flag. Uh, I didn't want to go there, it's too hot. Probably it's a viewpoint. So let me check it out. Okay, I'm heading back down now. We'll walk towards the uh, stadium, the Olympic Stadium, which is ancient. And uh, after that, let's see if we can get some gelato or something like that. Stop for ice cream. Okay, there was one hell of a massive softy that I've ever had. It weighed almost like 200 grams for 4 euros. It was good. I was so thirsty and kind of hungry for ice cream. I'm walking towards uh, the Olympic Stadium, which is the ancient one. It's 2 kilometers. So I have to somehow make it there quickly so that I can see it and then uh, grab a cab and go back to Ivan to the hotel towards uh, Vrav Vravnara I cannot even remember the name of the place where I'm living okay so before I reach to the Olympic uh, Stadium a couple of tips before going to the Acropolis you need to have sports shoes secondly get ice water like water bottle with ice in it because it's gonna melt really fast if you're going to go in summer in the heat in the afternoon 
because there isn't any shop up there but there is one at the ticket counter but once you get up to the acropolis uh, remains you will not able to figure out there are little taps to drink water but the water is not cold third get a cap without a cap or umbrella you will be tanned as shit so it's best that you have a cap an umbrella to keep yourself away from the sun it gets you tired while walking in the heat over there but then if you go in the evening it makes sense these are all artifacts from the history this apparently is made of gold gold plate I'm walking down the street which has a tram rail and some cute restaurants with their patios outside and there's a museum here which I won't be going uh, I'm more interested to see the stadium if I can go in there it's still hot although it's 4-5 o'clock almost these pigeons don't even move when I'm walking it's like I literally I can just touch them <laughs> He's looking at that dog there. So that was the entrance to the Stili Olympios Dios. It's the temple of the gods. That's what was told to me by the Uber driver who dropped me earlier at the at the earlier attraction point but I'm trying to walk to it across this park uh, I'll go around it and then after that is the Olympic Stadium after the Olympic Stadium for sure I'm going back I'm really tired tired only because of the heat it's very very hot plus I'm walking a lot and I don't think so after the Olympic Stadium I have anything else to see Athens has majorly these three attraction points besides the fact that its coastal region is amazing I haven't gone to the coastal side of Athens um, where I'm living is the coastal side but okay not the best there's an entry of two euros for that and secondly the structure inside has just those four pillars it's very similar to the Acropolis so I'll just proceed towards the stadium which is this way okay so I'm finally here at the uh, Olympic Games Stadium this was the first modern stadium for the Olympics and it marks the history and the beginning of sport uh, I don't know how to get inside but oh, there's an entrance over there yes. So it gives me access to the stadium and the museum. That's the ticket. Hello. Thank, Thank you. you. I am paying for the audio guide. I'm just going to do my own tour. Ooh la la. Oh my god, we can actually go on the track. Oh wow, I'm actually standing on the first Olympic Stadium, oh my god, look at that symbol over there, so it's actually accessible to people, I think people can run here, like, you can 
probably use it. I'm not sure if you can do it like a sport or try to get a picture. I'm gonna try to go there and get a picture. And we're on top over there. This is massive. Oh my god. This is... Look at these steps. How am I supposed to climb these steps? They are... Like people used to... We try. Okay. Yeah. Trying to go up. We get a nice picture from here. A minute. I'm sweating like I ran a race. Wow. How the view. Finally, the wish has been fulfilled in this scorching heat and this sweat on my face. I got a picture, uh, amazing picture, I'm gonna put it on Instagram. I gotta go down now, I'm so, so, so tired. First thing I'm gonna go down and do is call for an Uber and then head home straight. Actually, without a doubt, the way the stadium is designed, not sure of the capacity, every angle looks spectacular. I mean, what makes it special is these stone seats. It's not like our modern plastic seats or cushioned leather seats. This looks very much like sustainable. It's gonna stay like this for decades and I need to go down the staircase now I'm gonna try okay. it's not easy okay that was the cheapest trip I must say all right I'm just waiting for my uber now it's about to come in this crazy traffic that I see in front of me. And I'm seated at one statue here, if you can see. Having a chill strawberry slush. Yesterday after the good night swim, I went off to the hotel, went to the room, um, grabbed a snack and we just crashed on our beds because I had to wake up early to get to the airport because my flight is at 9.30. Right now I'm at the airport. It's a nice bakery. I got some cookie pizza and I'm eating gelato ice cream one last time. Okay, I gotta find my check-in counter. So I got myself a barbecue pizza from this nice bakery called Banetti. Banet. 
Yeah. They have really nice uh, bakery items here. Uh, more like the Italians. I think I'm at the counter. I'm gonna check in and then head to the gate and then have my pizza. So I got my boarding pass and now I'll be checking in. Not checking in, actually I'll be crossing security over there. That literally sums up my entire trip to Greece. Um, like I said before, it was a cheap one. I tried to keep it at a very minimum budget before heading to Athens. It was like a last minute unplanned. My brother was going, he said, come along. All in all, it was worth it because um, I didn't really spend a lot of money. And I had a full entire day. I just had my sleep. I could not complete. All right, so I'm just gonna end my video right now. Uh, this was literally a short trip for me. I hope you guys enjoyed whatever I did in this entire 12 hours that I was awake in Athens. Um, I was uh, not expecting myself to come on a short trip like this to Greece where I land in the morning and the next morning I'm out. Um, yeah, so like I, like I mentioned many times before, it was definitely a cheap one. Uh, literally, I was using Ubers which were not very expensive. Although they're expensive, not very expensive. I was, uh, I didn't pay for my hotel. I was staying with Ivan and um, my flight was a staff ticket. So that's another advantage I have. Uh, besides that, I got to see the main historic places of Greece. I got to eat their uh, seafood. I also got to walk on their streets, explore a little bit of their streets and uh, see the stadium. Swim a little bit by the seaside uh, next to the hotel and uh, I think that's about it. Uh, that's majorly what I love doing so I got to do all that. So thank you for watching. Uh, until the next video, next trip wherever I'm going, I don't know where. So see you guys in the next one. Bye.